Hey viewers, so I know you can't see me because you're just sitting on my dashboard and I don't care about it seeing me. We'll do this as a podcast type video. I just want to talk for a minute because when I get really excited about things, I talk. I'm pretty sure you guys know that by now, but I am actually on my way home, well, home, to my boyfriend's house from church this morning, and I'm really excited because I met another pagan who is looking into attending my Unitarian Universalist church, and so my other pagan friends uh, that I know are pagan have not been at church the last couple weeks that I've been there, so I hope everything is okay with them, first of all. Um, but, so I was the only one there that I know of as being a pagan, and there are some other people that I've seen that have, like, pagan-themed tattoos and things like that, and they're not there every week that I'm there, but, and I hate to base things just on a tattoo, but, you know, that's kind of like a, well, maybe they are, and they just haven't really said anything. I don't know. There's only a couple pagans at my UU church so far that I know of who have said they are pagan. And so this girl, I overheard her talking to the membership chair. I was just walking through and I heard her say the words, I think I'm mostly a pagan. And I was like, oh, I should go over and talk to her. So I went over and I said hi and I said, yeah, I'm one of the pagans that goes here, blah, blah, blah. And then I left her alone went around, talked to my other friends and whatnot, and before I left, she, like, waved me over real quick and wanted to talk to me, because she had some questions just kind of about, and this is mostly what I want to make the video about, because I thought she asked some good questions that you guys might be curious about. She wanted to know, basically, what my experience has been with being a pagan, attending a UU church, and whether I think it's a good match, whether it really, you know, fits pagan beliefs, and she said she calls herself a pagan because her views are very eclectic, like they're not any specific pagan branch, but it really is a more general pagan outlook of like it might be a little bit this, a little bit that, a little bit Native American, a little bit Buddhist, a little bit Wiccan, etc. So, you know, do I feel that the UU church really goes along with that? And I do. And if you even just read the seven principles of Unitarian Universalist belief, you'll see that they do include a lot of things that are, it's mostly just about humanity and the connection of all living things and, you know, the interconnected web of all existence, I think they refer to, and just respecting each and every person for who they are and what they have to offer and including everyone as equal regardless of belief you know at every service we say the the bond of union and it says that we pledge ourselves to an individual religious freedom which transcends all creeds not to think alike but to walk together and so i do believe that it is very much like it doesn't matter what exactly you believe on your own time the individual beliefs that you still hold you still have your own individual beliefs even being a you you if you don't totally become something else you know and so you have those individual beliefs but what brings you all together is that you respect and acknowledge the inherent worth of every other human being that everyone has a significant role to play and that you're going to, you know, support that and allow it, accommodate it, you know, do your best to make everyone feel welcome and learn about each other and learn from each other. So I really do think that it is a welcoming environment if that is your main goal. You could be whatever other individual religion you follow, but as long as that kind of togetherness and learning community and recognizing everyone as part of the whole. As long as that's something that you're into, I think it's a really good match. And Unitarian Universalism does also say, like, it's not part of the principles, but it's kind of like underneath, like where they get their their meaning from, where they get their beliefs from, includes, you know, Abrahamic teachings in the teachings of Jesus and doing good for other people, etc., etc humanist teachings which remind us to pay attention to logic and reason and the foundation of science and spiritual earth-based beliefs that remind us to uh, pay attention to nature and encourage us to work with the cycles of nature and things like that so i do think that pagan beliefs you know 
as the general pagan beliefs are very much welcome in UU and also a part of it inherently. I told her that I've had a very positive experience, especially at this individual church, and it does help that I've known a couple of the people for a while and I've made friends quickly, and I feel very comfortable expressing any kind of concern that I have, you know, if I think something could be a little bit better or if I'm confused about something, I feel comfortable going to people and giving my input and they bring it up at their board meetings, you know, and they're, they're very receptive to hearing everybody's ideas, even though I've only been going there a few months as opposed to these people who have been going there for years. So I really enjoyed talking to this girl today. I say girl, even though she's probably older than me, um, this young woman. And I also actually spoke to a couple of the other youth members who don't come every week, so I had never met them before, but they are apparently involved in the youth conference type stuff within UU communities all over. And so they told me about uh, a youth con that they are hosting in January? January, that I might be attending because it's sort of nearby, so that's cool. And my director, who is the minister at my church's husband, he said he's going to be doing a solstice thing on the solstice, so that's also exciting. So lots of exciting things. You can see why I wanted to talk, and the people who are behind me, the car behind me, probably, I think they can see me in the mirror, and they're like laughing at me talking to my camera. I don't care. All right, uh, that's all I wanted to say, so thank you very much for listening, and I will talk to you next time. Until then, don't forget to be awesome, and blessed be, and yeah. Oh, I'm also excited, I forgot to mention, because our DRE, our Director of Religious Education, has already brought up to the board that there is an interest, a growing interest, in our congregation for joining CUPS, the Covenant of Unitarian Universalist Pagans. And so I guess they've never had this many pagans attending their church before, so we don't have a little division of CUPS at my church. But now, since there are more of us, that has been brought up, so it'll take months and months to actually come into fruition. But that's a thing that's on the table, and that's exciting. All right, thanks for watching. Bye!